Good afternoon, folks. Uh, Mark here at the Fan Cave. Um, what I have today is my NF Industrial Fan. Now, uh, this particular fan, I, I actually made a video of it last year, about this time. This is uh, October of 2016, so that would have been around this time last year when I acquired it. Um, I may have, uh, so you probably heard this story, but um, this fan is very, uh, very meaningful to me. Um, I had, uh, when I was a, uh, I salvaged it from an old gas station, and um, when I was a kid, I, um, this is the first industrial fan I can recall seeing. Um, I have vague memories um, riding backwards in the child seat of my mother's old, must have been an old Plymouth Reliant or whatever she had back then, um, and uh, so this would have been around the 86, 87, sometime around then, and riding past this gas station, um, and back when it was an active service station, you know, and they'd had the ceiling fan, this particular fan installed, um, and seeing it spinning around and just, you know, loving it. And um, one time uh, when, um, you know, uh, my mother went down to pick me up on foot, you know, on a nice day. Instead of driving down, um, we were walking back and, uh, you know, I saw the, um, uh, you know, I convinced her to bring me over to take a look at the fan. And, uh, yeah, the people there were uh, really nice about it. They uh, uh, let me play with the solid state control on the wall. And, you know, um, ever since then, for years, you know, uh, I've absolutely loved this fan, and I always thought it was a Crompton Greaves Encon as soon as I found out what a Crompton Greaves Encon was, you know, the high breeze. And, uh, you know, because of what I remember of it, I remember the blades having that V-shaped pitch, and, uh, you know, uh, sure enough, getting up close to it, you know, I saw the, when I went to salvage it, you know, I saw the bell canopy and, uh, you know, uh, the larger motor, and I said, well, maybe it's something else, and then I saw the little... NF sticker on here and said, oh, okay, it's, uh, you know, and it's made in an entirely different country as well. So, uh, um, yeah, that being said, I, uh, um, you know, this is actually one of my major childhood fans that I have cherished. And, uh, um, you know, the, I remember coming back from college, just ecstatic that the fan was still there. And by then, you know, the gas station had long since closed, ripped the pumps out, um, you know, there was it was used as storage of an old uh, an antique tow truck, and there were just uh, some elderly folks that would hang out there in the morning, you know, have their coffee or whatever. And um, uh, the place been so uh, place had a for sale sign on it for about the last ten years now. And um, I moved out to Colorado, and then I you know, came back after five years, and luckily the gas station was still intact and the fan was still there, um, and it sold last year and. Uh, I contacted, you know, a couple of years, a few years ago now, I contacted the realtor, uh, you know, whose name was on the sign, and I said, listen, this may sound like kind of a bizarre request, but, um, you know, on the email that I typed, I said, I really want the fan that's there. Um, you know, what can you guys do for me? Uh, you know, I'll, I'll replace it, I'll give you a brand new one, or I'll just buy it off you outright, what do you want? You know, and uh, never got a response back. Um, place sold the for sale sign was down and eventually there was a sign that said inquiries with a phone number so I called the number had a good chat with the guy and uh, you know I left him a message at first and told him the spiel I really want that fan you know can I buy you a new fan or something and change it out and uh, you know um, he got back to me and said look if you really want the fan you can you know just as long as I have something up there that moves air I don't care if it's new or used or whatever so I gave him a uh, an 04 uh, Proline, Newtone Proline 3 in place, and uh, he just had the whole place painted white, so it was a white fan, looked kind of cool, and, uh, but anyway, yeah, I uh, was able to salvage this one, and, uh, you know, I've absolutely loved it, it's my favorite fan in the, coll in the whole collection, so, uh, anyway, uh, you know, uh, without further ado, uh, I actually, on the video, <clears throat> I believe I just, uh, plugged it in or maybe hooked it up to a remote or something, but now I actually have a solid state control I can test with it. Starts out very fast, <coughs> excuse me, very fast on high. So, uh, yeah, check this out.
this is as low as it goes right here. Um, never actually had it on this setting before, so we'll find out if it actually... Uh, it, it won't start on this setting, you know, there's not enough uh, oomph to get it going, but uh, we'll see if it can maintain its, you know, or, uh, its speed or if it'll stop. It'll be slowing down dramatically. But as you can tell, yeah, it moves a ton of air. And, uh, when I acquired it, uh, it was frozen. So, uh, you know, I had to, uh, I added a ton of WD-40 to degunk the bearings, and then a ton of 3-in-1 oil to lubricate them, and uh, it went crazy after that. It, it flew, and uh, of course I've got oil all over everything in the process, but, um, uh, you know, a price you pay for success, I guess. Um, and uh, so I think I might have to add some more oil because it's been sitting for about a year unused. And uh, it definitely, you know, yeah, I could hear some rattling in there, so. Yeah, and that's the extent of its uh, slow speed right there. Now, unlike most of my fans um, that are for sale or trade. This one is not for sale or trade for pretty much anything or any price. So don't even bother asking. <laughs> yep, is it stopping? Are you stopping? I think you are. Now I'll figure I'll give you the full spin down from fast to, to off. I want to take this time to uh, thank you folks for watching. Um, you know, if you could do me a huge favor and like this video and uh, subscribe to my, fa my YouTube page called The Fan Cave and um, Feel free to check out my other Facebook, I have a Facebook page also called The Fan Cave. Um, I'll be updating that uh, one of these years. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Um, and, uh, yeah, stay tuned for more fan videos. I do, uh, I try to do a fan video every so often, even if I haven't acquired any new fans. Um, just, uh, I'll try to do something else with an old fan, either put a light kit on it or, uh, like in this case, I did a video about a year ago with this fan, and now I hitched it up to a solid state control so I could show you through the whole, the high to the low, so. And, uh, I'm, coincidentally, I'm actually going to be leaving for Fanimation tomorrow. I'm, uh, going to be, uh, picking up my buddy, uh, uh, Eman fan, check out his videos too. He's got a whole bunch of videos. Uh, I'll be picking him up, uh, you know, in Mass, you know, in uh, the town he lives in, the city, I should say. And uh, then I'll be driving him out to Fanimation in Indianapolis. So a thousand mile road trip. I'm all geared up for it. Uh, gonna get some sleep tonight and hit the road. Um, you know, you know, it's, yeah, I can shut this off now and uh yeah once again thanks a lot for watching uh hope to see you get some of you guys uh, uh on monday at fanimation uh, good night and good luck